Something as small as little particles and animations is what Roblox devs use to keep you addicted to their game. This is part 5 to a series where I give myself some coding challenges that relate to smooth effects to enhance your games and show everything needed to make them. So the first effect I'm going to go over is this cool shader effect that you can use with highlights. And this was brought known to me in the comments of maybe my last video or a community post. So basically if you insert a highlight into a part or any object, right, and set the build transparency to a negative number like negative one and then change the fill color to a color in between two colors so for example a teal and a green you see we get this cool little shader where it's like a gradient it is a mix of the teal and this light green so for whatever color you would like to use so maybe you wanted a pink purplish red gradient you would put it in between red and a pink or a purple and as you can see we get that same effect but something to consider with this effect is in the highlight if the death mode is set to always on top and you try looking at the effect behind a wall the effect disappears like you can see here it is just the regular fill color like we have set in the highlight so please keep that in mind when the depth mode is always on top so you can see it through walls and stuff that the shader goes away and maybe the shadow even affects it a little bit because you can see the part kind of affecting it but these are just some things to keep in mind when using this effect okay so the next effect is this tip jar effect so people can donate to your game and basically when a person donates to you there will be these cool looking particles that will fly out from this tip jar and i would like to give thanks to whoever gave this idea to me this one is for you and this will also be done using a click detector and if you guys want the highlight settings this is the highlight i'm using the aura some of the particles i'm using and have found from the toolbox because I am a scripter and I cannot make good looking particles. So something I forgot to mention guys is in your place you need to create a dev product and copy that dev product ID in here in the script so it will actually work and in that dev product you can set the price to how much however you want uh, maybe you can have different tiers or however you guys want to do it but I forgot to mention when I first started this you need to create a dev product in a published place and put that ID in there and then we can test it out and also one more thing i forgot to mention guys i put this as get player from character you would want to change this to get player by the user id so now i'm in my effects test place and then when we click on the tip jar we see we have this donation pop up i set the price to 15 robux and if we buy it there will be some particles coming out of the tip jar just like you can see there. The next effect I'm going to make is an upside down camera system requested by somebody in the community post. So let's get started. So this is our script done. And you guys may have noticed when we type camera, that coordinate frame, you see it is deprecated now don't get too alarmed by this i am using coordinate frame to make sure that the camera follows the character while it's upside down because other systems i've used uh without using coordinate frame it basically made it so the camera was upside down but it didn't actually follow with the character so then heading into your game we see the camera is upside down and it follows with our character 
as we walk around. So in Pet Simulator 99, you can open up these exclusive eggs for Robux. And these are special because these 3D eggs come flying out of your character and hatch right in front of you. And this is one of the suggestions that was in the community post. And I thought it would be a pretty good idea. And also had quite a few likes. So we are going to be making that next. And in classic fashion of this series, we're going to be doing this using module scripts. So this should be our script done. Basically, we are making a arc position, I called it, where we start with one lerp and have a midpoint where we lerp it back down, act as like a gravity kind of motion, and then you can ignore my naming here. Oh, I spelled character wrong, but you can ignore my naming. I called it get random position around character, and this is, as it says in the name, to get a more randomized position around the character. And I also provided this, because I didn't know how else to do it to lower it, is we, if needed, can lower the where the egg uh, basically lands. Maybe your egg is smaller and it may be floating a little bit, so you can uh, change the amount it is lowered right here in the Y and then we are using run service to constantly check the elapsed time using math.min to check for the time or T and checking if T is greater than or equal to one which means that the animation has ended and we can end all of it and how you would also set this up is insert a local script wherever you would like I'm gonna do it in starter player scripts and we are going to get the egg animation and then also get an egg which I do not have in my game go to the toolbox and type in egg and I'm just gonna get an egg mesh here it is make sure your egg is anchored I'm gonna set can collide to false scale it up to be like that and I also think I'm going to spice it up by making or inserting a trail and now we have this cool trail effect following our egg and back to the script we get our egg game dot workspace wait for child egg and we're gonna wait three seconds until the effect actually happens and then we're gonna say egg animation animate and we can send in our egg and then some values so we can control the height the total time it takes and the distance from character if you guys want some basic values that I came up with I came up with a height of 15 a total time of 0 point maybe 55 and a distance from character of 10 but I may want to lower this but we're just gonna have to see this is from what I remember testing this uh, some pretty good values and also keep in mind you guys that the egg is a mesh so when we are setting the position we are setting the position property directly from the mesh so if you are using a model you might want to switch this up a little bit to use pivot to and maybe some other functionality in here that you may want to change if it doesn't uh, use the whole model though so like here we have oh maybe not maybe you just would want to get a primary part of your model and weld everything else together that's how you could fix this but that's just a heads up so then head into your game and if we wait a little bit we see the egg jumps out from our character and lands here 
it is kind of clipping into the ground so for my egg I maybe would want to make it smaller or I could change the uh, Y here so it is not clipping into the ground also if you guys seen uh, there was a little bit of that weird trail effect that's the egg teleporting to my character so you can see there how you could fix that is have the egg in replicated storage and parenting it to the workspace when the egg plays or you know set the position of the egg to be on your character before it starts so then it looks clean or you could also have it clone the egg which i think would be preferred is cloning the egg and then setting the cloned eggs position just like that so that is another heads up to make it maybe a little bit more smooth for you guys so the last effect I'm going to make for this video comes from, once again, the community post. And someone says, when you click E, a satisfying red highlight pings or highlights everyone else besides you. And I thought this would be just kind of a cool thing to end off the video, just kind of an easy sort of effect. So let's get right into it. But before I start, I have this highlight here. Um, it's just a really basic highlight to ping the character so insert a rig this is my highlight I'm going to use if you want the properties they're gonna be right here and yeah now we can get into it So this is the script done. We are using user input service to detect when we press down on a key. And then when we do that, we're looping through every player in the game, checking if it's not the local player that's running on the client, getting the character, cloning the highlight, tweening the highlight, and you will see why in just a second I added a, a, another little cool effect onto it, and then waiting until that's completed, and then ending it off. So. If I start a test game with two people, and so now I'm in this two-player test game, the other player is on my other monitor, so you can't see it at the moment, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, but what does matter is when we click E, you see it pings the character, and it has that little cool effect where the transparency is moving between like 0 and that 0 0.7 value. And I'm looking at it, it's a little bit fast I'm that, now that I'm looking at it, but... Uh, you can easily change that in the script by looking at the tween info and changing this first number here. And then, you know, you could press it again, E, and it pings this guy. It would ping everybody in the entire game. So it would be more cool if I had a ton of people in here, but you guys get the point. It's a pretty cool effect. And yeah, guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.